right now Hauk to throw his first pitch of the season. Swinging away and it's a base hit that'll roll into center field so Mullins who had two hits yesterday is on quickly. And it was the review took a long time two minutes and thirty two seconds. And he was ruled out. When members of the Red Sox came and congratulated him gave him a hug and a pat on the back. It was emotional. He pops this one up. Gonzalez lets it drop. Good move. He was one for four with an RBI on opening day. Players still bundled up when they can. Boy, they are swinging right away, man. Six months of chemotherapy. You know what that feels like. And a breaking ball outside. And just to get the respect from your peers, you know, generally speaking, rooting for each other. For each other. Won all three of those ball games, had a strikeout high of 10. That was against Atlanta in his final start. That's going to roll away. Former first round draft choice in 2000 that almost got them to the World Series. They were one win away from getting to the World Series. Missing downstairs, and it's three and two. Sitting 91 to 93. Occasionally humping it up there. Oh, that was filthy. Swinging a miss, strike three as he sets Lord the club. They just might. You know, he keeps up doing what he did yesterday. Big two run double. That was the key blow. And a strike. Mancini, the base runner at second. 94 miles an hour high fly ball. Hernandez, Kike will run it down for a double, but the Red Sox could not bring him in. So Ruiz will start the second inning taking ball one. He really killed the Red Sox yesterday. Plays especially uh, defensively going out to, with his back to home plate to catch pop ups oh. for the Red Sox. He was 0 for 3 at the plate. Boy, he gets a lot. He breaks big time. West to east. And there's another one to put him away, and he struck him out for his second K. Had to get my guy who's hit the Red Sox particularly well in the past. Who remember the Red Sox? Hirokazu Sawamura, who is 33 years old today, made his Red Sox debut yesterday, and that's going to be in for a strike. All right. Through one about 95 miles an hour. I thought there was a chance we might see him as the first man out of the bullpen, and but he did get the ground ball he was looking for. Called strike. Swing and a miss, 96. Out after the slider. Two down, Franco the batter. Tanner made his major league debut in September. As Jerry said he made three starts and the 0 2 bounced it. Another day game tomorrow. One two pitch. Backed him off. A games might in, have been in a little, April. A little bit higher than that maybe. Unreal. Two two home. Swing and a miss on a high. And then a fastball up and in. So four total in the first two innings as I mentioned his high last year ten. In Struck out three in a row in the second inning. Coming down to the wire. Baylor taking on Houston at 515 and Gonzaga and UCLA on the Zags. I say they're going to win the whole thing. Undefeated season. That's what everybody's saying. Which usually means there's an upset in there for a strike on Galvis. The UConn women in a Final Four yesterday. That was an upset loss to Arizona. Pumped in there and he has fanned another one. The bottom shows no fear. I, I just. It's amazing. I'd love to know what his heart does not get very high. Severino had two hits yesterday. And a camera. 
Well we did see it in spring training and it's not always that what happens in the spring translates into the regular season. Pick up the pace and try to throw strikes. Get ahead. Work with tempo. Work quickly get your outs fast. Looped into center backing out. And now coming on and brought some pressure going into this spring Red Sox manager Alex Cora said that he was pitching as if he was trying to impress somebody Hauk said it was like he's in a good position now to come up here and help them out but Hauk also may be a little bit of a boost for him is the fact that he's pitching in front of his family and friends one down Mullins the hitter he's single to start the ball game to go tomorrow afternoon at 110 is Red Sox debut against left hander Bruce Zimmerman doesn't seem to matter what they lose and they lost plenty of pitching they're still tough still gritty going the other way but it's up in the air for Franchi Cordero for out number two Mancini with a hit in the opener. Quickly 0 and 2. Mancini, excellent power. 0 2. Ooh, did not get the call. Right corner. Severino off first. Little dribbler here and a foul ball. Santander on deck. Tanner Houck from the stretch. Swing and a miss, 95. On, so she must be listening to Joe Castig, and she's keeping score of the game. And she's writing in a lot of K's. Now, <laughs> Mom's keeping score. How many games has she been at where Tanner pitched where she did exactly the same thing? She had a scorebook out. Probably all of them. <laughs> Interesting. Still waiting on the Sox offense to get cranked up here on day two. How quickly gets to that and fires a strike. He's mobile as well. A balance. It ends up down the right field line. He had plenty of time, though, that time to think about it. Mount Castle going after the first one, a 95 mile an hour fastball, but off the end of the bat. And Kike Hernandez will put it away. Red Sox got an excellent performance out of Nathan Abaldi yesterday. Oh. Yep, the Red Sox offense just getting waiting, waiting to get started. Nate Waldy all bundled up. Pits into the sixth inning yesterday. Officially charged with one run. Hawks a guy who hates to walk anybody. He's gone to three and one on Ruiz, and he walks him. Somebody to take care of him. He might. Actually, bring a guest. As Austin Hayes climbs in and takes a break. If you can't, then we're all in trouble. After 50 years, Sprawling stabbed Evers from a knee and a high throw into the outfield. Ruiz up and running into third. Big time help out of Bobby Dalbeck a couple times yesterday at first base. Here's Franco. He struck out first trip. Swinging pops it up, but that's going to drift back out of town. Boxed around a bit, and the run is going to oh. advance. So, Hauk really tested here in the fourth inning of a scoreless game. And a strike. A stirring here at the old ballpark. Here's the one two. Brown ball up the middle for a base hit. Ruiz in to score. Hayes coming in as well. That's a two run single. They both score, and the Orioles take the 2 0 lead. Brings up Freddie Galvez. Swift looking at the pitch in the third inning. Trying to hold up, but that's a swing and a miss. 0 oh 2. And Tanner Hogg from the set. Franco off first. Hey, 
one two. And as Jerry mentioned a pass last night yep. yesterday. Just missed by Galva staying off that pitch. Two two. Raked foul. J.D. Martinez has a double to show for a sun blinded pop up onto the warning track and that's in there for strike three. No more damage but the Orioles jump. Jerry Remy Dave O'Brien with you. Severino at a base hit his first trip and he'll punch that one over the leaping Devers down the line into the corner. That'll take a bounce. Cordero to dig it out and into second base Severino with his second hit as good outfielder great bunter. He's he's a very talented bunter. Flirted you were a terrific bunter. What were the most bunts you, you ever had in one season you remember. You know I'm, I'm going to guess I'm going to guess around 15 16. Bit of a lost start. I think it may be more of April than the uh, baseball yeah. right now. I think you might be right. Broken bat. I've seen a bunch of those today. That'll advance the runner. You know how much they have dead in the baseball. Mancini 0 for 2. He is a runner at third, one down. So a fly ball of decent depth will get in the empty desk in honor of Dennis Eckersley who will rejoin us in a few days. Eck is not over. Red Sox got that infield in. 0 2 from Tanner Houck. Oh nice play by Bogarts. Keeps the runner at third. Well for the Red Sox the defensive play of the series so far here Santander has gone over 2. Ground ball another one knocked down by Xander. Will he get the out? No. They have two hits in this inning. Mount Castle has flied out to the center fielder Hernandez two times. No activity in the Sox bullpen yet. Here's the one nothing. Orioles with a two run advantage here in the fifth. Keeping it down in the zone. Went 3-0 with a 0-5-3 ERA last season for the Red Sox. 